I think there are three steps that we need to take. Number one, we need to reach a global consensus, or at least a consensus in the West, uh, that the restrictions on the Iranian nuclear program have to be permanent. That the, 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 the fundamental flaw in the JCPOA, the Iranian nuclear deal, was that, was that uh, after about a decade, the most significant restrictions on the program were going to evaporate. And what that did is it began, a, it, it began a nuclear arms race in the Middle East rather than, than stopping the race, which should have been the, the, the goal. Uh, the second thing is that we need, to, uh, we need to strengthen the economic sanctions against Iran, uh, bring their exports of oil uh, as close to zero as, as possible to put maximum economic pressure on the regime. And third, and most this is the most difficult thing to do, we need to develop a model to counteract the uh, Iranian support for Hezbollah around the, um, uh, around the Middle East and, uh, and around the globe. Um, Iran is, has a kind of, not, not just Hezbollah, but the Hezbollah model. Iran is using militias trained by Hezbollah to subvert regimes in, uh, in Iraq, in Syria, in Lebanon, in, in, in Yemen, and the West has not developed an effective counter to that. Uh, we talk about building up state institutions in countries like Iraq and Lebanon, and effectively what happens is that, uh, that uh, Iran moves in with militias like Hezbollah that subvert those institutions, so we end up pumping, mon pumping money and, uh, and, uh, uh, and training uh, into institutions that effectively become uh, Iranian um, uh, instruments of Iranian control in those those countries, and we need to develop more. Um, we need to put our minds together and develop a, a concerted effort to to prevent Iran from doing that, and when it does it, to make it pay a price.